Story talk. Who got the tea? Who got the tea? Yeah. Story talk. Who got the tea? She got the tea. Yeah. And you need to know. She tuned into the show. Thank you so much for checking into this episode of Tori Talk. I am sitting here with Tamika Scott, the legend herself. I am so excited to talk. Oh, no, it's so true. Oh, like, my oh God. gosh. She had me <laughs> blushing over here. Legend. Oh, Ooh. come on. I mean, your voice is amazing. Thank you. I'll tell you right now, my family, well, my mother specifically, is playing uh, all of your music when I'm growing up. And this is like six-year-old me talking about something. Baby, won't you come inside? Oh, I'm no. Like, That might have been a bit inappropriate, yeah, but that was well. six year old me. I'm 27 now. So but the 27 year old you knows yes. the words now. The oh, me knows the words. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you so much. Um, I really want to talk to you about your new EP. Yes. I'm so excited yes. for yes. you. This family Affair is available today. It came out today on all digital platforms. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Friday the 13th. It is day. Friday it's the 13th. It's a good day for me. That's, it's an amazing day. Yes. And it's funny because it's called Family Affairs. And my family, I just ran across the street. We're doing a, we have an events company. And I'm helping them. And I ran over here. So oh, I know that family is girl. like so important to you. Everything. So why was it important for you to name your album Family Affairs and tell your story about you and your family? Well, I have my family on this project. My daughter's. Uh, my, my, one of my daughters, she raps. She go by the name of Young Naya, Princess of the South. Uh, <laughs> she's spitting on one of the songs called Reflection, along with my oldest daughter, Ocean. She's singing as well as my five-year-old. Girl, I started oh. over from five to 26. Girl, what was I thinking? <laughs> I, got, I have a song called What Was I Thinking, too. But um, they're on this song called Reflection, and it talks about being a mom and how I live for them and how I will fight for them. And when they hurt, I hurt. When they cry, when they shine, I shine. It's that type of song. I wanted to do something with them because they are very talented. I didn't put them on it because they just my kids. Yeah, they are they really talented. <laughs> Sap, they can sing and rap. And then I have another song on my EP called Almost Over. My mm -hmm. husband, Darnell, is on. Get his Kurt Franklin on, y'all. <laughs> I, I think he can sing, but no, he's Kurt Franklin. It. But um, it's an encouraging song, you know, just trying to teach people how to dance through their storms because people go through things all the time. And sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. And I want it to be that light in the world. And I want it to let people know that I've been through some things. And if I can get through, you can get through. I have another song on there called All of Me featuring my brother Q Parker from 112. Mm -hmm. And it's really my oh, story. Q, Q, yes. my, again, six year old me. Oh. Q, Q, Q was my favorite. <laughs> I will let him know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's called All of Me and it talks about, you know, me being hurt and falling in love with my husband now. I'm um, scared to fall in love. I was falling but didn't want to fall because of previous relationships uh, that didn't go right, which I wrote, What Was I Thinking? That's about being in a relationship with the wrong person, honey. Giving your all, and we've all been there. Giving your all and then not even getting it back. So, um, that, I haven't looked the other song, girl. I go on and on about <laughs> yeah, family affair, well, I will, I will ask you another question about family affair. Out of the songs that you say, they all obviously have like a special place in your yes. heart. But what would you say was the one that was the touch you the most, or the one that like took the most energy out of you, and you felt like, wow, I left it all, you know, right Malera, here, right in the studio. I, re I redid Malera's "Go Outside in the Rain." And that was a song oh, that came out in, in the 90s and actually escaped. When we did our little um, talent shows, we would sing that as a group. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we, we never did it as a, on an album. 
but we remade another song but yeah <laughs> it was one of my favorites and i wanted to remake it the way i wanted to do uh -huh. it and you know what? Malara posted my video and gave me the thumbs up. And I was like, yes! Oh, you, got, you got the stamp. <laughs> yes, I got the stamp, girl. I was like, yay! Because, you know, when you're doing a remake, you want to, if you can't do it right, just don't touch it. So I did it the best way that I knew how to do it, and I, I love it. And just being in the studio, singing it, going back to, you know, that time in my life where I wanted to go outside in the rain, it was like, it just took so much out of me, and you can hear it through the song. You so know. why now? Why was this the perfect time for you to say, you know what, I'm getting back in the studio, I'm coming back out, I'm doing what I need to do, and put myself out there as Tamika Scott? It was, was I think time. now is the perfect time. We all are doing our own solo projects. Tiny did hers, you know, she did hers first. Um, I F and Love You. She got a song called I F and Love You. So, you know, they just opened up the doors for everybody else to do their own little thing. So. I was like, okay, let me just get my little, this is my first time ever doing a solo project. I said, let me just do it. And I am. So what do you want people to know about this album and about what you're doing and what's like to come for you? Because one of my Tory Talk uh, watchers wanted to know, like, who do you want to collab with? Like, what's like your, you know, after this project is over, would be like a dream for you to do next? Oh God! You've done so much already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you, when you see, when you hear the songs, it's almost like a movie. Like, I was struggling between naming it Tamika Scott the movie. Oh, really? It was about my life, about my family, but I settled on Tamika Scott the uh, Family Affair. So it's like, when you see it, my, my first song is the interlude. Back in the day, people did interlude on, on albums. And I did an interlude and I did a little video to it, which is really our life story. My husband getting arrested, you know, for his license being suspended. So we do we did a little video about it. So it's almost like a movie every song. Go Outside in the Rain. I shot that with my real best friends from high school. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a real moment. It was a real moment. So everything is like real and I'm just reenacting the things that I've done. Yeah. So for you, like, you have been, you know, in this business and longevity obviously is one thing that you can always say, like, if you don't do it after that first couple years, yeah. like, it's not going to be there and you are still here and still doing things. So what would you want somebody, you know, to know about get, getting into this business, especially as young mm -hmm. as you were and then continuing on and having such a Girl. wonderful career thus far? I would say learn the business. Always learn the business, ask questions. Don't just settle for someone to say, do this, do that. Ask, always ask why, why should I do this? Um, how, how's it gonna affect me? You know, just learn what you can about it. Learn, 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 and practice. People think you just get in here and it's like, hey, I'm gonna start. No, artist development is a must. We practice all the time. Like even we have a show tonight um, at the MGM. We practice, we practice, <laughs> we get in there, we sing, we know the songs, like the back of our hands, but we still, we continue to go in there, we continue to work on our dance routines, practice, 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 make it perfect, so. So how was it like growing up for you and your sister? Cause y'all have the most beautiful voices. <laughs> Thank you. And you've had it ever since you were young. So it's like, Thank you. how was that? Was it like Girl. your mom and then like, you dead on girls don't stop singing mm -hmm. up in this place? We actually, we came from a singing family. My father used to be in a group when he was younger called the Scott Three mm -hmm. with his brothers. My mom's song, like we just come from a family of singers. So everything was done through songs in the house. Everything we learned, the Bible verses, the United States, the map, everything we learned through song and it made it easy. So we were just singing. That's just what we did. <laughs> so a question for me that I have is, how does one stay so beautiful? No. <laughs> you. <laughs> You're so sweet. I am so serious. Girl. Like, oh Lord. You're so sweet. I got some time to come. So it's oh like you look. Goodness. You look great. Like what is Thank your like regimen? What do you? Girl, I need a regimen. Moisturizer. I'm not moisturizing like I should. But see, I'm old school, girl. I put some noxzema. When I do do right, I do noxzema. I be walking around with that noxzema smelling. My kids be like, mama, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> smelling medicated. <laughs> that face is beat and beautiful. Yes, and I use noxzema. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that I want to talk to you about, and one of my um, followers wanted to know about, you know, how did you feel when everything happened with Escape? And then, you know, when you first, you guys first broke up and then now that you're back together mm -hmm. and, you know, back doing your projects, like how has that whole transformation been for you? It's been, oh my goodness, like a journey. You know, just getting back. It's like when we got back together, it's like we picked up where we left off. And it's like we're closer now than we were even growing up. It's, it's, it's different. We text, we text in, we're, we're going to each other's house, we're eating, the kids are having fun. So it's really like more like a family than it was back then. Back then it was work, 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 work. We just wanted to be famous. 
We just wanted to sing. We didn't care about being rich. We didn't care. We just wanted people to know who we were. But now it's a lot different. Our, our kids to see our kids talk and how they hang, you know, hang out and stuff. It's like it's it's, it's a great feeling. It's great. It's bigger than the music. It's love. Oh, that's so nice. It's love. And you know what? At the I had a show last night. My EP release mm -hmm. uh, was at the City Winery, and the girls came. Did they surprise you? Did you know they were coming? I mean, I sent out invitations, but everybody's so busy right now. You don't know who's going to make it because Tiny was in Africa. Her and Tip was okay. in Africa. They left the airport, came straight to my show. Oh, my God. Candy came. She left her baby, came to the show. My sister was there and everybody, um, Lily from SWV, they're here today. Mm -hmm. No, She knew she had to get up this morning and catch <laughs> a flight. She stayed. She stayed the whole time. Like, the support has been so overwhelming, but they came, and you know I had to call them on stage. I was like, come on up here, sisters. <laughs> and we killed. When I tell you, we shut the house down. And after that, I was like, I'm not going to finish my show. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, it's so love. It's just love with us. And I'm sure that was an amazing moment for it you was. and your fans. And, and the fans. Like, the fans were like, you know what? I was like, I felt some kind of way. Because at first, when I was performing, I saw a couple of little cameras. When I called the girls, the whole room had their cameras up. I was about to say, stop taping. Stop. Like, Wait a minute now. Hold on. Y'all didn't have all these cameras when I was a big singer for me. <laughs> okay, so finally, I would like to know, like, you are here now. And like I said, you've gotten to the point where you're, like, super successful. And, like, now you want to look back. If you had an opportunity to go back and speak to the younger stuff, Ooh, what would you tell Lord, yourself she was so about hard life hard. and music and everything that you know now? I don't think she would listen to me because she so? was so hard-headed. Some things have to be taught by lesson. And I don't think that she would listen to me. But, I mean, I would tell her what I tell my kids. You know, learn to love yourself. Don't look for um, acceptance from, from outside because those people are looking for acceptance themselves. Just walk in your truth. Walk in your light. And don't be afraid to try. I used to be scared to do things because I thought I would fail at it. So I didn't do it. Okay. So it's like you never know until you do it. And I would tell myself, do it. Just just go out. Do, do it. Do what you were afraid to do. You know, it's crazy. I've had multiple people doing multiple different things on my show, and I always ask them, like, what advice would you give someone who wants to do it? And every single person says, do it. That's so right. at this point, Stop I've just got to the point where Walk out on it. faith. <laughs> Walk out on faith and just believe God. Because we're here for a reason, and we all have multiple gifts. We all have, we all have something that we're supposed to be doing right here. So do it. Don't miss the opportunity. When that door opens up, you go through that door. And I have this, this here. Let's take a look at this. That's a classic me, y'all. This, <laughs> this is Tamika Scott. Look, this is Escape 3. <laughs> we all, we the BBD of Escape, okay? <laughs> and Family Affair is out. Now, look how pretty she looks. Thank you. On the piano, yes. Are you going to be doing any piano playing while you're yes, out there? Yes, in my video. Tonight? I am playing Ooh. in my video. Yes, I am. Yes, Very nice. side of the range. Um, the instruments I play the B flat clarinet and I do a little dabble and the drums. I'm a beast of them drums, girl. Yeah, oh, I'm a PK. I grew up in the church. My father's a preacher. Mm -hmm. So that's we learned every instrument we had to learn. Yeah, that's right. Girl, we learned everything. Stuff that we ain't supposed to know, we knew. I was like, well, is this a part of life? <laughs> is this legal? <laughs> But look, it got you where you are today. And yes, now you can say so you can get up on that stage and play whatever instrument you need to That's play right. for yourself. You don't need no Girl, I beatbox too. I, mean, uh, I make music with my mouth if I have to, girl, by any means necessary. Get the coin. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do we need a sample of that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I was thinking, I was like, I was hoping I might get you to sing, sing a note or two okay, before we. Yeah. You want to drop a beat? I can do the. You're going to do the. Right, <laughs> you going to rap? I mean, I can try. I'm, ready? No, I'm not good. You ready? Yeah. At NGM with Tamika Scott sitting on the couch. Everything is all hot. We in here doing Tory Talk interview. Thank you so much, Tamika. And again, thank you so much. Please let everyone at home know where they can follow you, where they can get this lovely EP, where they can see you in your upcoming shows. And oh, you can follow me on IG at the real Tamika Scott, Facebook Tamika Scott, Twitter Official T Scott, and my my um, EP Family Affair is available on all digital platforms. Get your copy and tag me. And let me know what your favorite song is.
Oh yes, do that right after you watch this. Again, thank you so much, thank Tamika. You. It was so oh. nice. <laughs> Have a great show. Thank you. Yes, girl. I'm excited. And bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, you kiss. I kiss too. <laughs> Story time. Who got the tea? Who got the tea? Yeah. Story time.